It was one of those days where you question if a normal person would go outside, let alone leave on a trip. The forecast called for rain showers, but the following days looked much more positive. But our bags were packed and plans were made, and to bail now would let adversity win. Besides, who doesn't love a little type 2 fun? Good girl. Remembering that forecasts are little more than educated best guesses, we went anyways. I hope you enjoy coming along with my son-in-law, my dog Sophie and I, on this short paddle up the Bird River in Nopaming Provincial Park. Good thing we got that bug hut. Yeah. to adjust her uh, seating pad, she was getting soaked. Okay, all right, sit back, shake, shake, shake. Okay, shake, shake, shake. Go. Okay, sit, sit down. Shake, shake. Okay, sit down. good on this trip. Uh, it's not her first time in a canoe. She's been in the canoe a couple of times. But she was pretty good. Um, you know, uh, it's just me and her in the canoe and uh, he's uh, my son-in-law paddling his kayak. So um, I wanted to try what it was like because eventually I want to try to do some solo trips with her, uh, you know, in a couple of years. And uh, So I thought to see how I could handle it, I would uh, basically try to do a solo trip with someone around to give me a hand if I needed it. Well, I've appreciated the hand, uh, otherwise I'd be triple carrying portages. Um, I also wouldn't have brought as much stuff as I could. I could see that in a pinch. Like getting dark. Open. Hey? Very open. Very. Yeah, that's all. I think 
um, I think I watched something on YouTube where someone did stay there because they got late and they paddled for like two or three and everything was taken. So they had to, is that a tent up there? That brown thing? Or is that a rock? Or maybe it's one. Of, maybe it's a throne. Maybe that's where the latrine is. all the way to 9 and 10 and that group that we saw is there. Yeah. <laughs> you got 3, 4 and 5, 2, 3, 4, 5 coming up along the side here. Yeah. And with this much overcast, you're not going to have a lot of dust. You're not going to have a lot of what? Dust. Like once it, when the sun sets, it's going to go dark. Clear, you might end up with another 15 minutes or so, 15, 20 minutes, but almost there, honey. Almost there. You've been such a good girl. I think we're done. I like the sloping rock. There's the other one right over there. Which as long as you're the only one here, you're that's who cares, right? What was that? I said as long as you're the only one here here, who cares?
See that little yeah. roof down there? Yeah. See that white thing? That's a little cabin. Oh. See, there's a. Can't remember. They got a name on it. It's belonged. It's owned by a fly-in lodge or a guy in Pinawa, depending on who you want to believe. This looks nice to sit it out in the evening on the rock or the yeah. morning. Okay, Sophie. It's okay. Easy, girl. Easy. Let me get out and take a look here. Beautiful, beautiful sunrise this morning. Just super, super nice. Um, it was sun came up nice and slowly as I fired up the coffee pot. I was using a percolator. Um, so yeah, it was really, really nice. Really enjoyed it here. It's been very nice so far. Um, it's a beautiful sight. It's a very beautiful sight. Yesterday it rained all day long on the way getting in here. It rained and rained and it was mucky on one of the portages slipped out and completely wiped out and covered myself and had to tow in muck and you know we did a lot of paddling uh, right near the end uh, we paddled around uh, through campsite one which is not very not very scenic um, we passed two didn't look very good uh, we came to three about three it was uh, we were pushing six o'clock uh, no we were 6 30 6 30 when we were coming in here and it was kind of like, we're going to take a look at this site and see whether it, it fits us. And if it does, this is it. We weren't going to make it any farther. Um, we did have plans. We were hoping if we would have gotten uh, maybe a little better, a little quicker through some of the portages, maybe made some of the island sites down around the bend, maybe closer to McGregor. Uh, McGregor was never something we really aspired to get to on this trip. So uh, we're here. We're happy. I think we did. I think we figured out about nine kilometers to get in here so far yesterday. Uh, between portaging and canoeing. Uh, GPS batteries died on me uh, on the way in, so I'm not exactly certain of the, uh, the amount. You like that squirrel? Squirrel. Don't. Don't. No. No. I don't want her to jump through the tent. Okay? She's quick. Hey, hey, you just sit down. You sit down and watch him. Sit. Sophie, sit please. Sit, sit. Come on. I know, I know. You want to go catch him. You can't. Okay. okay. But um, aside from her love of squirrels, or detestant of squirrels, I guess that's pretty normal for a dog. But... Hopefully the squirrel goes and finds another place to go hang out. Yeah, we'll try to get some good, give you a bit of a sense of this route, in case you've never been here or you're looking at it. What you smelling? Hmm? What you smelling?
What are you smelling? Eh? Okay, come on, let's go. level. Probably room for a hammock. This probably goes to the biffy. Yep. Access to the same backwoods biffy. That's like seven and eight. Kind of strange little ones. But, uh, not the best. Seven, you got to kind of access around the side, but I guess this sign is where you can see it, so if you're paddling towards it, you can find it. Six was interesting. Six is on a beach with a little tent pod, but the big thing about it is there's an ATV trail that runs to it, and over in the other bay, there's like, looks like a 55-gallon drum bale, uh, barrel off on the side. Normally, you use that type of barrel sitting somewhere for bear baiting. Um, which makes me kind of wonder, would you really, if you were hunting the bears, that campsite would be really good. But if you're not hunting the bears, and you're camping, baiting bears nearby wouldn't be very keen, wouldn't be very good. I doubt very much that's what it is, but that's what it looked like. Anyways, that's site 7 and 8 here. It's okay. These ones are right. I saw a fella. Um, who did a really nice review of a couple of the campsites. He walked through them. It was really nice, very helpful. Helped me kind of decide what the amenities were, what they looked like. Um, I know across the way over there, uh, campsite five, uh, you got maybe one pan tent pad there. Um, campsite four, uh, to my left, um, it's, you know, there's not even a tent pad there. Uh, but if you stay at this one, which is three, you can walk along the shore to four, and it has uh, one of those green thrown uh, backcountry biffies, um, backcountry latrines, whatever it is, uh, in much better shape than the, the outhouse here that is uh, in pretty sad shape.